Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. We are talking about another screenshot reveal. This one we got yesterday, today, I can't quite remember. I've had such a busy week, but it is the exhibit animal that is coming to the conservation pack, which is launching in just a few days, a week? Something like that. What is time? I don't even know what day it is today. But anyway, the exhibit animal is the axolotl. And to be honest, normally I don't really get excited about the exhibit animals, but this one I am super excited about. These guys are absolutely adorable. I actually first really learned about them when they were introduced into Minecraft uh, as, a, as a mob there. So very, very excited to have them in Planet Zoo. Um, I think they look absolutely fantastic. I do wish being an exhibit animal, I'm not hopeful we'll get too many animations or see them doing too much, but I do wish that was the case because I would love to see these guys kind of swimming around and, and you know, enjoying their little little exhibit they are a pretty fascinating animal um they are technically an, an, an amphibian uh but they're kind of a weird amphibian so let's go ahead and talk about them a little bit i have some information pulled up from the san diego zoo and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go through it a little bit shrouded in mystery and defying typical biological laws like metamorphosis the axolotl a type of salamander keeps its webbed feet firmly placed in infancy throughout its life. Unlike other salamanders, axolotls are neotenic, meaning they keep juvenile characteristics into adulthood. The axolotl remains aquatic, like larva, in their entire life. Though it develops functional lungs, it uses its fancy feathery gills to breathe underwater. Like youngsters, they retain external gills, a tail, and a body fin, and lack movable eyelids. Naturally occurring in a couple lakes that I cannot pronounce in the southern area, southern of Mexico City, these fascinating creatures are rarely seen in person. Descendant from the tiger salamander, the axolotl is young, having inhabited central Mexico for only about the last 10,000 years, according to some experts. Indigenous to these two spring-fed lakes along the southern edge of the basin of Mexico, much of its suitable habitat has been drained. The ex extreme that's the lake i cannot pronounce and i even looked up the pronunciation before i started this and and now i can forget what it was it's like similco or something like that uh basin uh, but it's spelled with an x it's x-o-c-h-i-m-i-l-c-o -I -I anyway once about 77 square miles of marshes swamps and lagoons was significantly reduced 85 years ago when a drainage project was completed the axolotl is characteristic and steeped in Mexican history, culture, and identity. That said, little information exists about the ecology of axolotl populations. This situation is surprising given the popularity of the axolotl for scientific study. However, their small and generally inaccessible populations make it difficult to obtain information about their behavior. What is known about the axolotl has been obtained from laboratory colonies. Salamander superpowers. Axolotls are dark colored and can shift their hue a few shades lighter or darker as needed for camouflage. Pink and light colored axolotls are bred by humans as pet for their pleasing shades. So that is actually what is really cool about this screenshot. If you see the axolotl in the front is more of like a pinky hue to it. It's little feathery gills are pink and it's a much lighter color. But the one in the back is a more green with some brown and its little gills have a bit of a red hue to it. So that would be what they would look like naturally in the wild, that one there in the back. The one in the front closest to us, that pinky one, is going to be a genetic mutation coloration that we have bred for in the um, domesticated or, or captive populations of axolotls. So really cool that we're getting to see both and a little bit of color variation between the two um, for an exhibit animal. That is, that's pretty exciting. Uh, they are also used in laboratories to study another superpower, regenerating their limbs, lungs, heart, jaws, spines, and even parts of their brain. Scientists have found that axolotls can regrow a new limb five times perfectly in a few weeks without even a scar. 
every tissue is replaced, skin, bone, cartilage, muscle, and stem cells. Other organs can regenerate countless times and be completely functional. Naturally, scientists would like to harness the ability and apply it to human medicine. It is said that axolotls are over 1,000 times more resistant to cancer than mammals, another superpower worth investigating. Last uh, but not least, let's talk about their habitat and diet. So Lake View, the axolotl is lentic, meaning it inhabits still water lakes. They occur in those only two lakes that I cannot pronounce, I'm so sorry, where they are cr critically endangered due to pollution, habitat degradation, and water diversion from an ever-growing human population. Conservationists are trying to help the axolotl by building shelters in the lakes with stacks of rocks and reedy plants to help filter clean water that is pumped in. It is hoped that these amazing creatures will breed and thrive. So a really interesting animal and, and honestly my favorite exhibit animal that we have had added to the game thus far. These guys are very unique in their adaptations and just in the animal that they are. And obviously, as we just read, have a lot of applications and things that they might be able to teach us that could apply to uh, human benefit. I just hope that, you know, it's always done in a sustainable way and that these guys aren't exploited too much. But but it sounds like conservation efforts are being made to kind of help these guys sustain their wild populations, which is very, very cool. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a good pick in your mind for the exhibit animal or not? I'm very excited to get to see it. Like I said, I hope we kind of get to see it move around and do at least something in the exhibit, but I don't have my hopes high because the exhibit animals usually just kind of sit there. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, do leave a like down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in Planet Zoo content, we will be covering the conservation pack very heavily in the next few weeks as we approach launch and afterwards. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I always enjoy it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk at you in the next video. Bye!